Today, I'm bringing you a totally different type of test because one of my viewers had written me saying he works in a gun store and they sell this DRT ammo and that some of the people in the store were selling this by telling the customers that it absolutely will not penetrate a condominium wall. And the viewer is asking me, is that true? Can you test this? Well, I can test it. Uh, I don't believe it's true, obviously. I mean, bullets go through walls. I got a sheet of drywall here. You know, it's it's a couple of pieces of paper with some compressed chalky gypsum powder in here. If a bullet can't go through this, what's it gonna do against a, a 300 pound intruder, you know, especially through his rib cage? So I'm pretty sure we're gonna have no problem punching through walls with all these, but with the question raised, I thought, well, well, how do these different types of ammo perform? So I'm going to use the DRT, which is a frangible bullet, meaning that it once it hits something harder than itself, it bursts into powder. So that's a different type of bullet. We're going to try the Federal Guard Dog. Uh, Guard Dog is advertised specifically as minimizing overpenetration through walls. It's not a hollow point. It is a full metal jacket that expands anyway. It's a neat, interesting design. So we're gonna try that. We've got some of the Liberty Civil Defense. This is a fragmenting bullet, not, not a frangible. It's actually the metal itself that makes the bullet fractures into a bunch of pieces. So that's an idea that maybe that will perform differently through walls than a conventional hollow point would. And I'm gonna use all three of those through the pocket pistol. This is the nine millimeter with a three inch barrel. And I'm using this because this is, you know, it's a pretty weak home defense handgun. If, if the bullets penetrate through the walls out of this, you can be pretty darn sure they're gonna go through based on any larger pistol. So I'm using the little pistol just to see how they'll do. And then while I'm at it, why not try the Taurus Judge with birdshot? I do not recommend birdshot for personal defense, but we're, we're talking specifically about walls. Will the birdshot go through walls? I don't know. So I built a rig that will support four sheets of drywall, which would be equivalent to two interior walls. We're going to use some professional ballistic gelatin. We're going to find out if you miss your attacker and the bullet goes through a wall instead, it doesn't represent a danger to the person that may be on the other side of the wall, a neighbor or a family member or whatever. There's layer one. Two, three, and four. Punch clean through all of those and into the gel block. After slamming through four layers of drywall, the guard dog still had enough energy to penetrate a solid nine inches of ballistic gel. That's not what we're looking for in uh, ideal self-defense, but nine inches is still plenty enough to be fatal if it hits someone in the, in the right place. So definitely guard dog is still very dangerous even after passing through two complete walls. On the right is DRT. See, went through one, two, three, and all four, and into the gel block. The DRT penetrated to a full 12 inches. It went further than the guard dog because the guard dog was expanded and the DRT looks like it probably clogged up and then just passed on through like a full metal jacket would. So after going through two interior walls, the DRT still penetrated far enough to uh, qualify for the FBI minimum of penetration through bear gel definitely not wall safe. This is a dangerous bullet, even if it passes through a couple of walls first. Okay, there on the left is Liberty. Went through that sheet of drywall, and through the second, and through the third, and through the fourth. Same story, busted right through the drywall and penetrated onto eight and a quarter inches still plenty enough that, especially in an accidental situation, that could very well be fatal. The shot cup made a big wound. You can see a bunch of holes in there. Let's look on the exit side. Yeah, it blew through the first sheet and a lot of pellets blew through the second sheet. So that's one interior wall, yes, pellets would get through. The second wall, a few. A couple got through and on the back side of the second wall so they would enter the second wall but they would not get through the second wall and that was from close range that was about five feet the Liberty it got smashed and so it didn't 
open up and didn't fragment, and that's why it penetrated deeply. The guard dog performed exactly as it's supposed to. I had no problem with that at all, other than, you know, that it was still lethal after passing through the walls. I was hoping that there was some magic here, but there wasn't. And the DRT, don't really know why that didn't open up. I mean, it looks almost unfired as far as, you know, how intact it is. It's not plugged with denim, so I don't really understand, unless maybe the impact with the drywall threw it off course and so it didn't hit perfectly square on or maybe the drywall slowed it down below its threshold of fragmenting I, I don't know now let's look at the actual sheets of drywall this side was the liberty this is the guard dog and that was drt this obviously is the bird shot i fired that's the shot cup left over from the public defender so we punched easily through the first sheet and the second sheet, bullets are still going, obviously, and there's a lot of notation. So we can say that the uh, birdshot definitely blasted clean through one interior wall. It went through both sides. It's a little interesting here, this shape of this bullet, but maybe that's when the Liberty turned. Maybe that's when it got its, its face smashed. I don't know. The other two bullets still going strong, and... We see some indentations here. This looks like a lot of the birdshot probably stopped right here. A few poked through, but it, it seems like the birdshot really did not get very far through here. You can see the bullets are making pretty huge holes on their way through. So I would think that by this time the guard dog has flattened out and expanded. Maybe, maybe the Liberty went through sideways and that's why we got a big hole there. And then the fourth sheet, we do have seven or eight indentations of birdshot but it looks like they didn't make it anywhere through there and i've seen all three bullets blasted clean through the four sheets we have the results and the results are bullets go through walls they just do there's no magical solution out there that no magical bullet that's going to have enough power to stop an attacker while simultaneously not having the ability to punch right through a little half inch sheeted, sheeted drywall or four sheets. I mean, there's three separate types of bullets and they all blasted right through it. So what do you do? How do you minimize this risk to your loved ones or your neighbors or whatever? I don't know that you really can when using a firearm. I mean, basically you have to accept whenever you pull a firearm for defensive purposes, if you're going to pull that trigger, you are accepting the responsibility for where that projectile lands. And whether that's out in public or in your own home or whatever, you're responsible for every projectile that leaves the barrel of your gun. And the risk is higher if you're in a high density situation like an apartment building or, or a condominium complex because there are just more people around you all the time. And so I think that you should exercise as much restraint as possible. Don't employ deadly force unless it's absolutely necessary. And if it's absolutely necessary, then you're dead if you didn't. And so, yeah, there may be potentially terrible consequences, but you were dead if you didn't. So did you really have a choice? I don't know. Uh, you can go with something like the birdshot. It will greatly minimize the risk of hitting an innocent, but it also greatly reduces the threat stopping potential of the firearm. So, Maybe the solution is that if you really, really, really don't want to pose a threat to your neighbors or your own loved ones in other rooms, uh, maybe you shouldn't be looking at a firearm at all. Maybe you need to be looking at something like uh, a golf club, baseball bat, uh, axe handle, uh, pepper spray or taser. I mean, all of these have problems. None of them are going to be as effective as a firearm, but they all minimize the risk. And really, that's what we're down to here. You cannot minimize the risk by using frangible or fracturing ammunition because it goes straight through. So if you're going to minimize the risk, you're going to have to accept that you're minimizing your threat stopping potential too. We'll keep searching. I'll keep looking. If something wonderful comes along, I'll make another video and I'll test it. But my results from this is that bullets go through walls and you just have to be prepared for that and accept that responsibility. Thanks for watching and please hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified when the next video is posted.